You are listening to Gorgas, you idiot. Where do you start a song if you're, do you usually start with a riff that you're like, I just want this in there somewhere, and then you like build around it? Because that's it's such a good question, and, and it's it's different every time. But I will tell you what uh, tried and true method for me is that I always suggest to other people for metal. Just start with the drums. Mm. As the drummer of the band, I'm telling you, just start with the drums. Is that a biased opinion? You want to <laughs> go? You just want to go first. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Why so is that though? Okay. From a, somebody I don't know shit about writing music. I just. I just do what I, I just do it and do. I think I just you do, do the know, vocals. I think you do know shit about. I have a gorilla music, understanding of it for sure. I have. For a, sure. I'm like a football well, coach. Like I watch tape. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like yeah, yeah. I'm like those boys. Those boys can play. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, like, whatever you're doing, you're doing it right. So keep. <laughs> yeah. So um, I guess to use an example, our first album, The New Rain, was recorded. I recorded just the drums first, and that really opened up a lot of doors for creativity with what comes next so it would be some of the songs on that album if they without if you took the other instruments away it would just sound like a drum solo for two and a half minutes yeah. kind of thing and i was just recording drum parts i thought were cool and at the time you know i was probably 16 years old just learning how to use pro tools i had a pretty crude setup of just drum mics uh, didn't know how to use the metronome click function yet. So mm. for that entire album, almost every riff was a different tempo because there was no tempos at all. So by the time I went in, you know, with Michael Keane, him being more, you know, fluent in like digital recording and stuff, he was like, well, listen, we're going to need to put this all on a, a tempo map. Uh, I think he was using like digital performer at the time. And so we would go by riff by riff and he'd be like well what do you think the tempo is he's like well i don't i'm like i don't know he's like we'll play it play the part he's like okay yeah that sounds like 230 or oh, that sounds like 145 or or whatever so m uh, most of those songs started with drums and then when i would hear the drum part i would just keep doing it over and over have the guitar so mm, usually yeah, usually okay, i see honestly, it now i can see it now usually you're the painting on top of the drums Basically. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, and th this is mostly talking about metal and for like right. technical metal, deathcore, gen. Um, it's just a lot easier to have the backbone of like to hear the drums and then pick up the guitar and just riff over the drums. And people don't understand how much time it takes and how much trial and error it is because they think something sounds really cool. I'm like, well, you should have heard the first take you yeah. should have heard the first 236 ideas that i was <laughs> yeah, trying exactly. over that part it wasn't that sick like it's this is impressive because i, I put a lot of time into it that yeah. people most non-musicians wouldn't even understand you basically are putting it through a sifter yeah it's like you're yeah. putting the sand through a sifter and then it gets finer and fine have you ever made hash before dude i, <laughs> have you I mean i was a stoner but have you ever seen, seen it? they they make them with these hash bags where they put them on like a home depot bucket and they put like seven different bags over and each one is a different grade of like yeah, yeah. fineness you're or whatever sifting out, you're, you're sifting out sifting, like the and, good you, stuff. and then you yeah. sit there with like a paint stir and you like push it into it into the bags that's... and then you take the bag off and then you push the next one and you keep pushing it down and that's it's like that's a, it. That's exactly what you're doing with songwriting yeah, almost, yeah. right? It's it like is. And songwriting is like making hash. If there's any <laughs> takeaway from this episode, dude, I want them to know that songwriting is like making hash. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Just remember all your hash making experience. But no, that is crazy. Um, and yeah, people don't realize how much effort goes into this shit at all. No, no, they don't. Like yeah. the mu musicians know, and I, I do think it's probably a lot of musicians watching but don't don't get down on yourself too if if you're like why is this taking so long or oh you know why did why does this equipment cost so much money like that because it does it, it you know good gear costs a lot of money sometimes and writing good ideas takes a lot of time yeah which is also money so which is money yeah, yeah so yeah, definitely. and it's like taking away from like it's like nights you're not spending at the bars or being sacrifices. social, being social. Yeah, we were just sacrifices. talking. We talked about sacrifices before yeah. we turned the cameras on too. Luckily, yeah, I had like so many. I had anxiety and depression in in high school, uh, so I staying home was a no brainer for me. I didn't want to hang out with anybody, and so nice. immediately, like, 
when I like when I would be in school, I didn't really you know school wasn't my thing. But I would a lot of times if I was just really frustrated with the test, or I was like I'm gonna fail this for sure. I'd turn it over and I would write, I would write drums. I would write drum parts. I'm like like well, writing out writing music out notes? music notes. Yeah. Okay. So there so you have learned all that stuff. So there you have brace legs. You know, it's yeah. like <laughs> I was like, hmm, I could either fail this test or write the drum part for brace legs. So which Dude. do you think I chose? Brace legs is my favorite song. Doing that part with you guys every night. Oh, dude. Oh, that my was God. so you much. Killed it. it was so much fun for me. I, I, one of those, li- it's like a crazy that it happened to me. You know what I mean? It's just fun. I love it. It's, We'd it's, a, it's a great memory. I watch that video every, every now and then when I'm going through my shit and my phone trying to free up space and I'm like, fuck, dude. Oh, it warms my heart. You it crushed, went hard. You crush that with us every night. Hell yeah.